This year, Spokes family, Sierra, Brian, Reagan, and Charlotte Ferris all join me. Hi, guys. How are you? Great. Uh, okay, let's start with you, Jody. For those who don't know what DSC is in the Tree of Hope campaign, sort of uh, give us the 15-second the elevator pitch for right. it. Right. So DSC is a local nonprofit here in Champaign formed in 1972. Our mission is to support individuals uh, with disabilities, developmental and intellectual develop, uh, developmental disabilities in the community. And uh, we've got a brand new family this year. Each year you sort of spotlight one family who's been a part of the program. What made you choose these folks? Right. So this is our 27th annual Tree of Hope. Um, and every year we pick a spokes family. And this year we selected the Ferris family. <laughs> We're so happy to share Charlotte's story this year. Uh, the cute factor in this uh, here <laughs> program just went up th through the roof because of uh, Charlotte over there and uh, her sister, the whole family. Hi, guys. Thank you for being here. Thank you. Uh, let's, let's start with you, Sierra. Uh, sure. Talk about sort of um, how you found out sort of what's been going on in your family and some of the things that Charlotte is, is battling. Sure, sure. So um, when, uh, we were, when I was about 20 weeks pregnant with Charlotte, we found out um, her brain just wasn't developing, you know, the way that it was supposed to and later found out she was going to be born with spina bifida, hydrocephalus. Um, we later found out she had a genetic condition called the George syndrome, also known as 22Q deletion um, mm. syndrome. But um, so she's, you know, she's been doing really well though and, um, you know, early intervention, we got hooked up with early intervention and through them um, came upon DSC and they've been um, so great. Maybe you, Brian, could talk to a little bit about uh, the, the fear of like that 20 weeks when you're finding out all this stuff that's new to you, I would assume, and, and the unknown. What kind of ru runs through your head as a dad? You know, I, um, uh, when you talk about um, fatherhood, I always I feel like my, my job is always to, you know, provide and protect for the girls. And um, when, when you're, you've learned that before your, your daughter's even been born that already she's going to have these things that are going to make her life really hard. Um, that's, uh, I mean, personally, it sort of almost felt like a, just a kick in the gut, sure. you know, and, and uh, really, really gut-wrenching that there was nothing I could do to, to fix this. But when we kind of got deeper into it, you know, we, we prayed about it, of course, and, uh, you know, basically just set out to make it our mission to make sure Charlotte could have as much opportunity and access to the world as, as we could give her. And, uh, I mean, those were some scary, scary times. I'm sure. Um, um, three days before... Uh, you know, Charlotte was born, the doctors are telling us they can't find good brain tissue, so we didn't even know if she was going to survive, honestly. Right. Um, we are extremely grateful that she did. I'm sure. <laughs> she is absolutely adorable. <laughs> Talk a little bit about um, how DSC has impacted your family's lives, and specifically that of Charlotte, over the past few years. Sure, absolutely. So, when Charlotte was born, I mean, we really, you know, traveling back, we, we traveled to Cincinnati, and um, on the way back, we... Um, just we were lost I mean we didn't know what what uh, where we were what, what to do I mean she was in a car bed she couldn't even be in a regular car seat she had to lay on her side because her head was so so large and so um, like I say we came upon um, early intervention and through them DSC um, came along and they've been helping us through therapies and um, just guiding us helping us like so we know how to help her and what um, you know what we can help her with and and that's what we want to do is just give her everything that we're able to and they've helped us do that jody obviously those kinds of services don't come for free you guys have to find ways to do what you do so talk quickly here about the tree of hope campaign and how all of us can help you do those things right so creating independence is what we're all about so you know this year's goal is hundred and seventy five thousand dollars and we can we can really use the community support you know every year they do come out and support but you know this year even more you know we really could use the support and from what the does community. that look like how would the funds get from us to you right so there's m many different ways that you can make a donation a if you live in Champaign County or Ford County, you got a mailer in the mail, um, so you can send your donation back uh, with the envelope that was enclosed. You can also go to our website at dsd-illinois.org and make a donation, and you could also drop it off at our, our location on Bradley Avenue. All right. Well, we will connect uh, all of our viewers with all of that information on our website. Thank you guys for being here. Thank and you. Charlotte, Reagan, you were fantastic. <laughs> Didn't even need to pull out the fruit snacks. <laughs> keep you in line. <laughs> you know, need some fruit snacks to keep me in line. Uh, we will get you all the details as promised the facebook page the website for dsc via our website just go to c i living dot tv